Hi today's what? Hi today's what's food? Hi today's. Keep trying. Hi today's what's for dinner Wednesday, and we're making something. Chicken salad sandwiches, our go-to easy after Costco dinner. Yay. This is a really simple dinner where you get a rotisserie chicken from Costco, mayonnaise, grapes, onion, pepper, green onions, celery, cilantro, dill actually. Smell it, does it smell like pickles? Yeah, actually. And some kosher salt. And let's get started. This is a really fast meal, so let's get going. So pick them off, and then you're gonna take a knife and just cut them in half, and then cut them into four quarters. Okay. Into four quarters, good job. Slide into the side. So I just take my chicken, cut the breast off, and I just get as much meat as possible. Some dry skin though. Off of my chicken. And then I'm going to pull the legs off and get as much meat off of there as possible. Ooh. And then after I get all of this meat off, I will dice all of it, like a rough dice. You don't want it into small chunks. I'll roll the dice. You roll, you'll roll the dice? Yeah. I'll roll it like a bowling ball. Okay. Probably this many more. We only have enough grapes. You can be very precise with these things, but chicken it's a chicken salad sandwich. sandwich. You can't really mess it up. I'm gonna take two stalks of celery. I'm a great master. You're a great master? Yes. Yeah, you are. Alright, next we're gonna do the celery. I am just going to Rough chop it. Oh wait, there you go. Bit my fingers in for you. I think I want to do one, maybe one more stalk of celery. I'm gonna. I just chopped it roughly, but I'm gonna actually just put my knife through it one more time because I don't want too big of pieces of celery. Or so you want to hand me one more stalk? Yeah. I'm just gonna mix that. It's right there on the counter. I'm just gonna mix this in with the grapes. Good enough. I love celery. I have a green onion that I'm gonna roughly chop. That's a little wilty. Can you throw that away? Can I eat it? Sure. What are your thoughts? Spicy. Spicy? And then one I'm gonna take all the way down to the whites. Just because the kids don't like an onion flavor being too powerful. And I don't want to make them not eat their dinner. And then I'm gonna take just red onion. I'm just gonna slice just a tiny bit of it. So I want the flavor, but the kids don't want the flavor, so we will meet in the middle. And I'm just gonna dice it. As That's a song. Meet in the middle beneath that old Georgia pine. Okay, that, now we're gonna take our chicken. I'm just gonna rough cut it. So rough. The next step, I lost my helper. He is out on the trampoline now. We're getting ready to go on the trampoline. The next step is I'm gonna separate some of the chicken. Get a bowl. For this one, I'm just getting a clear bowl so you can see what I'm doing. I've got my chicken. I'm gonna take probably about a half a cup to a cup of mayonnaise. The Trader Joe's mayonnaise is my absolute favorite. Mix that all in. You don't want it to be, you want it to be kind of like a tuna sandwich. You don't want it to be runny, but you want it to be well enough covered. I'm then gonna take some mustard. Our kids don't love mustard, so I just put a little bit in there for some flavor. Some pepper. And some kosher salt. But of course, you can't take away salt, so make sure you're just taste testing as you go. I can't taste test, so when Ben comes home, I will have him do that. And I mix in my toppings. What did I forget? Dill, I forgot dill. I knew it was missing something. Okay, we'll chop some dill up and throw it in here, and then it will be good to go. I usually like to let it sit for 30 minutes to an hour, just to let the flavors all absorb before I serve. 
I'm gonna take about two sticks of dill and I'm going to peel them like this. I don't really want the stalks. So then I just have the fluffy and I'll chop it all up. I sprinkled the dill in here and now I am, Dixie's freaking out, the kids are screaming on the trampoline. I am just mixing it all in. Then I will serve it on a crescent roll. Now I'm gonna build my sandwich. I have these crescent rolls from Costco. I buy them every time. They're $4.99 for like 12 of them. These are great for breakfast sandwiches or your chicken salad sandwich. How I build my sandwich is I put my chicken mixture on first. For the kids, they like it with cheese. Ben just likes it with lettuce just to add a little bit more crunch to it. I just push it down in the sandwich, do some lettuce. Actually, I'm gonna do my cheese first. Just some cheddar cheese. And then I do some lettuce. And then I have a really yummy chicken salad sandwich. Okay, Lawson is wanting to be my taste tester, so we're gonna throw this to him and he's gonna give it a shot and we'll see, we'll see if it was successful. Let's go get Lawson because he has announced himself as my official taste tester. Let's see how fast he'll run over here. Lawson! What? I need my taste tester! Okay. Who would say I'm the taste tester? I get to try it first. Yep. So what do we have today? Chicken salad sandwich. I had this before, it's good. Don't take the whole thing, it's dinner. <laughs> okay, give me a rating. 10 out of 10. Ooh. Ten, 10. Woo! If you're a parent, you know how rare that is. So I'm gonna call that. I'm gonna call that a solid win. Solid win of a meal. Chicken salad sandwich, the recipe will be listed in the description below. And I hope you enjoyed this week's What's For Dinner Wednesday. If you wanna see more recipes, make sure you subscribe. We're gonna be sharing a new recipe every Wednesday and we have past recipes that we've posted already. So make sure you go find that playlist and check them out and comment. And I will see you there. Dear Lord, thank you for this day. Thank you for our win this wonderful family and this wonderful food that you blessed us with today. Amen. Amen. Amen.